Today we're making from scratch biscuits and gravy. Check it out. You're gonna need about a cup and a half of all-purpose flour, about two teaspoons of baking powder, a big pinch of kosher salt. We almost forgot, we're gonna add a little Dano's Original. That's the green top. Now you need one stick of some cold unsalted butter. We're gonna cut it into little pieces. Now we're gonna add our butter. Use your fingers to just mash the butter into the flour, just like that. After a few minutes, you should have your butter incorporated to your flour and should look like that. Now you need some sour cream. We're gonna go in with about half of this tub. Incorporate that into our flour. After a few minutes, you end up with the dough ball like this. Now this is where they get the name Drop Biscuits. Get you a pinch and drop them. Now we go into our 400 degree oven. While our biscuits are cooking, we're gonna brown us up one pound of sausage, the Purnells, cause it's good. You can see our sausage is cooked up and we got all that grease in there. We're gonna use a couple big scoops of flour to soak that up. Now you can see the flour caked up on the sausage. Now it's time to make the gravy. Get your whole milk, add in about a cup. And we'll go on and add another cup. Now it's time to season it up. I'm gonna go in with some black pepper. Then we're gonna set this off, take it to the next level with the Dano's Original. That's the green top. If you've never had Dano's and biscuits and gravy, well, you don't know till you Dano. I'm not overdoing it. It's not packed full of salt. It's got the right amount of salt and real herbs and spices. I'm just gonna mix that in and let it continue to cook. All right, now it's starting to boil. You can see it's gonna thicken up really quick. Now we're ready and we're still waiting on our biscuits. That's how quick that happened. So these took about 25 minutes, but we're ready. It's time to eat. Let's see how we did on the biscuit side. Looks pretty good. Mmm, not bad. And we top it off with our gravy. It's time to give it a try. The biscuits, I'm gonna give a six out of 10. Probably a better way to do it. Maybe not use sour cream. But that gravy right there, that sausage gravy with the Danos, I don't know if you can do it any better than that. That's a 10 out of 10. I'd definitely do the sausage gravy like that again. Yum yum, get you some.